pelvis has a lining which is similar to rest of our body surfaces. As these cells from the surface get old and are shed off, newer ones from below will replace these cells. Now basically there are two types of cells which line the cervix, the squamous and the columnar. And the junction where these two cells meet is known as the transformation zone. This area of the transformation zone keeps on changing as you age and with each childbirth. The most common causes for cervical cancer are the human papilloma virus infection. Now this HPV infection is a very common kind of a viral infection which can go from person to person by contact. If it tends to stay for a longer time, it can lead to cervical cancer. But most of the times, it weans off on its own over a period of two years. What should you do to reduce your risk of having a cervical cancer? The first thing is do a pap smear test, which is a screening test for cervical cancer. This test takes the cells from the transformation zone and examines it under the microscope. Whenever cervical cancer is detected at an early stage, it is one of the most successfully treated cancers. The second test is the HPV virus test, wherein the same slide can be taken to test for the human papilloma virus. When you start doing the pap smear test, the first pap smear test should be done at the age of 21 years and you should repeat it every three years if your previous pap smear has been normal. When you reach the age of 30, you have a choice. You may do your pap smear test every three yearly or you do both the HPV test and the pap smear test once in five years. You continue testing yourself till you are older or you've had your cervix removed for a reason which is not related to cancer. If you have an abnormal pap smear, your doctor may advise you to do a colposcopy. Colposcopy is a simple procedure wherein the cervical lining is examined under magnification. If there are any abnormal findings on the colposcopy, the doctor may take a cervical biopsy at that time. There are various treatment options which are available for abnormal colposcopic findings in the form of leap, cone biopsy or a cryocautery. For the prevention of cervical cancer, there are two vaccines which are available by the name of Cervarix and Gardasil which can be given to women and it is a once in a lifetime vaccination. Prevent cervical cancer by doing the right test at the right time. We take a pledge, we treat you well.